Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dirt, Grain, and Steel. On today's episode, we are going to be bringing this 850B John Deere dozer in the shop. And we are going to build us a usable machine out of it. It uh, traded some uh, ditch work for this dozer. It uh, supposedly had a head job done on it. And they put it all back together, backed it out of the shop, and the story is they didn't put oil back in it, so it's locked up. Um, we've had it for probably two years now. It's been sitting here and finally decided that we're going to bring her in the shop. We've got another 6466 John Deere motor sitting in the building that came out of a 644 John Deere payloader. So it should bolt right back in after some swapping of some items off the back of it and maybe a few other things we need to get them out and get them sitting side by side on the shop floor and see what needs swapped from one to the other to make it go back in the dozer so this dozer's got good tracks grouser shoes are all real good on it um so i think it's worth fixing we got a project coming up here in the next couple days that we're going to need it for and We've got a little D85 New Holland, but it's time to move a little more dirt than what that'll move. So we're going to put this old girl back together and get her back in operation. I'm going to strip that cab off of it. That's just an aftermarket bolt in the ROPS cab. I'm going to take all that off. I don't really like a cab on a dozer anyways. So we're going to... First step is to get it in the shop. The uh, problem is with it right now... There's a pump that you pump under the foot plate that releases the brakes. And that pump must be bad because it doesn't work. So what I done was I plumbed a porter power into it and pumped it up and we could get it to roll. But for some reason, I don't know if the porter power was bad, but I'd have to pump it the whole time to get it to roll. So I don't know if it's bypassing a little oil somewhere or what the deal is. So my Uncle Jamie had this good idea. He's got a... 12 volt hydraulic pump for like a dump bed on a truck and uh, he let me use it so I'm going to plumb it in so it'll run constantly so I don't have to pump the porter power and that way we can roll it. So I think once we get it rolling we're going to just pull it right into the back doors of the shop right there so that the uh, hard nose and stuff is face facing outside so we can back in with the service truck crane and uh, pick this hard nose off with both cylinders and all the radiator and everything will stay in there. So should be about a three hour job to pull this motor out and see what's going on. I'm pretty excited to get started on this project. I've been driving past it every day and I'm like, man, I want to get that dozer running. So we're going to get started on this this afternoon. And from what I've gathered i've talked to a lot of different guys that worked on these when these dozers were in their prime they said it should only take about three hours to pull this engine out so we're gonna we're gonna get started here in a little bit so hope everybody enjoys this one uh, remember like and subscribe if you like my videos because like i've said before there's always something exciting going on like this project right here so let's get started well, we got it this far. Uh, we moved it about, well, a dozer length. And uh, a gasket blew out in, I believe, one of these brake valves. And uh, we lost all our oil out of our pump, but we did have it rolling. So we are gaining. And I'm thinking that that gasket was blown out when we brought it home because I never could get it to pump up again when we were ready to unload it. So we just slid it off the trailer with the two hose and left it sit here. So we are gaining a little bit more effort. Dad's in the shop right now uh, cutting out a new gasket for that because we don't have any gaskets on hand for it. We were going to get in the shop and get it tore down and make a list and go to Westside Tractor and see my buddy Matt and uh, 
get some parts for the old girl. So I'm going to put some more oil in our pump and we're going to try round two with this. That was an adventure, but the dozer's in the shop. The electric hydraulic pump worked out wonderful. So I was going to get videos while we were doing it, but it kind of got hairy a few times. and So, but at least it's in there. And I'll definitely get videos of tearing it apart. Damn parking brake. Of tearing it apart and stuff. So, I'm going to go in there right now and start taking the hard nose off of it. Maybe by this afternoon or this evening, we'll be able to pull the motor out of it. Belly pan, so we can uh, get up in there and drain the engine oil and all that good stuff. I already broke one bowl up because this Milwaukee impact is so powerful. Supposedly, this dozer started its life out in a landfill, and it was an LGP, but when uh, the guy that had it bought it changed it over to uh, just a wide track, so it's not an LGP anymore. Gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> since, since mom says no profanity in the videos. <laughs> Even though these kids these days watch stuff on TV that's worse than our mouths. Well, we've gotten this far so far. Are we all happy? You're just tickled shitless, aren't you? <laughs> so we got the side panels off, front of the cab out, the hood's off. I've got the hydraulic cooler disconnected and draining. I've got the radiator draining. Oh, you made a mess? You'd act like floor dries cheap these days. Oh. Anyways. So we're definitely getting somewhere. I don't know if this is going to be a three hour job like I was told, but we're getting there.
Dad strength busted some big nuts. <laughs> That was actually fairly easy. Radiator, oil cooler, and all, all at once. Oh, and the blade cylinders. Well, there it is. All ready to pull the engine out tomorrow. Got the hard nose all off, out of the way. And tomorrow morning we're going to uh, start on pulling the engine out. Should be another hour and we'll have it out. So everything's going so or easy so far. So I'm excited to get a, a different engine in this and go play with it.